Hey guys, it's MJ, the student tech tree, and in this video, I want to talk quickly about hedge funds. A lot of people think that they're these weird, complicated funds, but I'm going to show you that they're actually quite simple to understand. But in order to do that, we need to look at a very quick example. So what I've got over here is, let's pretend that we have a, a market, okay? And in this market, there are only two shares. There's the big blue share, and there's the small green share. And the big share accounts for 75% of market cap and the small green share accounts for 25% of the market cap. Now what you would find is a passive fund would come along and they would invest along the same lines as the index. So they would invest 75% in the big share and 25% in the smaller share. Then what you also have are active funds and these are managers who feel like they can beat the benchmark set by the index. And they might feel that the big share is overpriced and the small share is underpriced. So they would then come into the market and they would invest as follows. They'd invest 70% in the big share and 30% in the small share. And what we say is that they've deviated from the market by 5% and they're trying to seek some sort of alpha. Now, that's normally what you have as your two main choices as an actuary consulting uh, pension funds when it comes to equities. Do we go with passive funds or do we go with active funds? But then there's also something known as a hedge fund. And let me just take these guys out so we have some space. A hedge fund, as you can see, has got... Oh, I actually have to make this a little bit smaller so I can fit in. Um, a hedge fund, as you can see, is... A lot more crazy. What they've done here is this hedge fund manager also believes that the small green share is undervalued and that the blue big share is overvalued. So what they go and do is they go and they borrow blue shares. They borrow the big blue shares and they sell them on the market. This means they will make money if the share goes down. Think I borrow something at 10 Rand and then the price goes down to 9 Rand. I give it back to you and I've made one rand profit by the price going down. And this is something known as short selling. But what is very interesting is when you borrow a share from somebody and you sell it to somebody else, what you get is you get cash. And then what hedge funds do is they go use that cash to buy a share which they feel is going to overperform. In this case, the green small share. And by using borrowed money to increase your position on a share, this is something known as leverage. Now, hedge funds have the ability to do the short selling and to use leverage. And this allows them to magnify their returns and it allows them to actually create their own sort of risk profile. They can hedge out market risk, hence why they're called hedge funds, and use that to only pursue alpha, which is the skill um, known as you know, stock picking and selecting the right shares. And that's basically it. There's nothing more complicated than that. Yes, various hedge funds use different strategies and they get all you know, complicated and they use funny formulas and all that. But at the end of the day, a hedge fund is a fund that invests in equities that is allowed to engage in short selling and uses leverage to magnify their positions. And that's it. Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time for another video. Cheers.